Hello and welcome back to Iratus. We continue our journey. <laughs> the exit. Well, we defeated the Keymaster, and this is the team I got. There's no one else. Alright, just keep going. The hunger for wealth had long since become the only virtue among the hardy Warren folk. Gone are the are their ancient traditions along with the names of their ancestors for what was more powerful, logic or some dead dwarf rotting away into the dust. Their ruthless scientists and alchemists knew the answer to the question and the human kingdom was more than willing to facilitate their experiments. They have grown rich and feared, setting up their own enclave and become, became the default overseers of the mines. Okay. So we are up into the dwarven tunnels now. We probably have to fight with some dwarves now. Merc Barracks. Uh, we don't have a choice here. XP. I could use some minions. Especially if it's minions that I don't have yet. Berserker Dwarf. Heart Piercer. Oh, the guy in the back has armor. Mm, I guess I can wait a little bit with the magic. Just go for a hit. Set him on fire. If it's on fire, it's gonna take extra damage. 45. Alright. Fight within flames. And he is going to die now. Rest in peace, dwarf. Oh yeah, just hit the the Dark Knight. I'm totally cool with that. So while we here is a burning dwarf, we can just smack him. I can just gain mana. Fight within flames. Just give me mana. All right, set this guy on fire. Your frail bodies fail you. I can just kill him. Right? Yeah, he's gonna die from fire. Uh, good question. Ignores armor. Actually, I would like to trigger armor with it. So that wasn't a great choice. It's actually not worth it because triggering armor would be so much better. Well, actually, no. Ignores armor. That's good. Ignores armor. But it doesn't ignore... Oh fuck, ignores armor. It doesn't ignore block, that's good. We need to trigger block with it. Yeah, I'm right. Uh, well. Just set him on fire. I just pray for some mana. Yeah, I don't really want to fear. Uh, I don't know, but I scare him here. Just, just go for a regular attack here. What do we do here? I think maybe set him on fire. Maybe do a physical crap. I don't know, maybe. Uh, that seems pretty good. Oh. He's about to die. He's, he's super dead. And now this would be the good time to keep popping uh, the mana restore. But we don't have it. Do we? We don't. There's nothing we can do. We can't. We don't have anything. He's going to die. Another step right. my eternal Good to see. Finally a fight that uh, didn't cost me everything. We can make a mummy. 
drafted. Easier to make my enemies unlucky than being lucky myself. We can gain three rats every time we miss, but I don't really like missing. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be particularly worth it, but maybe in a long round. The game is obviously preparing for some really long fights. That's how some of these uh, talents make sense. We can go into the graveyard. Am I supposed to just make them take a time out? I think so. Yeah, I don't know if you want to spend anything. I can just make another bride of Iratus. Oh, honey, you are so wonderfully rotten. So maybe get a mummy. And I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do with the mummy. <laughs> He's gonna be on second position. <clears throat> he can use the cursing touch. He's not gonna use the cleansing uh, wraps. He can use the impending horror to stress people. Remove all debuffs from allies and he heals. He can also gain more HP if he just picked that. He seems to be more stress related, so uh, that's not super useful. So maybe we're gonna go with Cursed Feast. But that actually puts him toward the back, which is just gonna be awkward. Yeah. Those additional. Damage if the mummy has a debuff. Okay. So the mummy would like to get debuffed and likes to remo uh, remove all the debuffs from allies. I mean, this is not really worth it. Oh, with this we can go forward and with this we can go back. Okay. I mean, sure. We can get a little tankier if I put, choose that option. Enemy loses 10 luck for 2 turns. Like, this is a physical attack. I think we kinda need this. But it's it's so bad. This is a permanent luck loss. But just 18 damage. That's so bad. In order to make that better... We would need to... Well, by picking that, we actually make it a little better. Because we're gonna get uh, 3 damage here. And if I actually chose the Absorb Rat... Then it would get even 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 better. But that would be a bad idea, <laughs> frankly. Because... Uh, I don't know. How useful is this Absorb Curses? I wager... Not as useful as dealing more damage usually. This is just a curse spam. I don't know. Like, this should be better. And pull someone forward. Serve if I click on well, it, my minion. then the average damage of this is actually quite reasonable. Like 22. Which is still terrible. Don't get me wrong. It's still terrible. The mummy has a fair bit of HP. I don't know if I want to do this. Even if you can do it. Mm, my undead tools can be made better. Dead. I mean, this could be so important for the mummy. I just, let just make him at least a competent attacker. So yeah, with this, he deals like 25 damage. And pull someone forward. And I'm not sure what else we can go for. Make the mummy come a little sooner. I mean, this would be okay. Like, this gives him uh, more of a long ground value. 
we have a Bride of Iratus with nothing to do. Uh, maybe she's just gonna educate herself. Can we educate this zombie? I guess I can. What we got here? We got a level 3 here. I have a lot of brides. Uh, I really like that. Bride of Iratus. I don't know. Uh, you could just you just go back, okay? But this banshee is totally wasted. All right, let's go. I I have brains, and so I mean it might make more sense to just uh, uh, keep leveling. Uh, higher levels and just give brains to the lower levels because seem to we seem to have enough brains like two more a uh, level three brains and that should be good enough uh, let's just go back to the dungeon we can gain a guy here and it's gonna be good question I think it should be like a dark knight. I value the Dark Knight the most. I yeah. Graveyard. So we don't have those. Upgrade is not possible. Uh, getting... Selling a, a Banshee. But the thing is, I don't really value this too much. Selling a, a Zombie. Like, again, I don't value this building super highly. Uh, that's fine. I'm just checking what we can upgrade. We can't upgrade that. Upgrading this would be huge. Huh. Upgrading the arena. Now that would be ridiculous. I think that we might need that. I think we yeah, we're just gonna gain two two minions are gonna gain experience. Okay, fine. We just need more guys. Uh well, not much choice. We're going with Bellow Squad 1, obviously. Not like we actually can go with Battle Squad 2 ever. <laughs> I, I can't go for extra squads. Ooh, that hurts. Ah, uh, okay. Trader in the back. Mommy's taking some damage. Maybe do a spine bomb. A little tingle up your spine. Oh boy, what do we do? I can just shout at them and make them lose vigor. Oh! Yeah, this doesn't seem to be super worth it. each debuff removed so we can stress them out oh in order to use the agile grasp we actually need to be in the back oh that's actually pretty good so maybe the mummy should be in the back it definitely should be in the back no no not go forward that's for sure Good question. I want to slide the mummy in the back. I guess we're gonna go for a cursing touch, but not sure on who. Uh, maybe the Dwarven Warrior. The trainer? Wait. Yeah, we can only put somebody in the front. Let's do crescendo. This will be yours. So 
Let's slide the mummy a little bit back. Strength through pain. Even though I really don't want to do that, but let's do it. The dark cleaning is so much better than try to use the death comes for everyone. But you need something if you have mana, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, we need more rats. Adore him. Okay, we gotta take every guy in the front. It would be nice to see when the, the bomb triggers. We can pull this guy into the front. And loses 10 luck forever. Also, that's a move. So we can trigger any move related abilities with it. Maybe that's actually decent. We can make the guys in the front skip their turn. Or just make everyone deal less damage. Hmm. Okay, I can't set them on fire. So, mocking slap doesn't work. Wait, they have armor now. Ah, <sighs> spine bomb. Impair this wretch. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have enough for the rules for the lady. They hit the berserk in the back. Delivered. Murderer! I want to talk. The guys in the front skip their turn. Uh, let's do that. But make the mummy kill. The low HP one. Looks like the mummy's gonna go for a timeout after this. Maybe a spine bomb. A tingle up your spine. Wait. Does this actually remove their armor? Aren't they supposed to have armor? And now they don't? Uh, let's go for a big attack. Oh, I want to trigger the, the block. But I guess that didn't work. We can gain mana. By absorbing their fear. Just keep punching. Bomb trigger! Uh, sure. Impair this wretch. Alright, bomb. You got this. Take him out. Okay, well, I can try to take him out, but it doesn't really work. If the bomb triggers, he's gonna die. If not, I'm just gonna take the... the extra mana. Oh, you can just gain even more extra mana. Look at that. Your frail bodies fail you. And he's dead. At least I'm doing okay with mana. Banshee is good for that. So, that's a secondary way to uh, take advantage of uh, making them scared. So, got some XP. Got some flash, got some dust. Oh, this is what we got from just from the tomb. That's really good. Because we really didn't get a lot just from the fight. Talents, alchemy, we can get more creature parts, but it seems like this is not super important. Yeah, I can convert uh, parts into mana, that seems like a hard pass. 
Increase the chance of receiving artifacts at the end of battle by 20%. Seems pretty good. Yeah, but... Maybe... If I have uh, 50 dreads... I mean, 50 rates... Brought, then we get extra dread. Which is nice! I would like that. Currently, I think this is just fine. We don't need anything more. Alchemy... Seems like a good choice. Transplantation. Yeah, I'm, I mean, we kind of need this for later, but right now, it doesn't matter too much. All minions gain two initiative and two action. Vip. What is this? Target minion, next attack will be a critical hit. I mean, that might be okay if you're just doing some ultimate. But that's 20 mana. Target minion loses 20 vigor and gains 5 attack until the battle ends. That seems terrible. Magic is questionable. The enemy loses 25 luck until the battle ends. If they escape, Iratus receives a vampire after winning the battle. Is that how I'm supposed to get a fucking vampire? <laughs> Oh my god. It seems... <sighs> I gotta make people escape. So I get a vampire. But I'm a little bit more concerned about losing and... Well, not losing units. Because it's difficult. Do I just want to get more parts? I might just want to get more parts. If I get more parts, then I can... Yeah. I can just focus on getting resources inside the town. Library gives me XP. That's good. This gives me parts to build buildings. Uh, dead lake, whatever. Excavation, a little bit whatever. Uh, that's fine, actually. Yeah, that would be nice to upgrade. But what kind of creatures can I make? Uh, I can make a mummy. I need the Bride of Iratus. I fucking hate saying that, but it's kind of true. Might I use this one sparingly if I care for my minions? <laughs> uh, well, Dark Red is really good. Zombie is not really good. But ultimately, we don't need, like, a crazy amount of Dark Knights. We need, like, one. Do I want another fucking zombie? Not really. Let's go into the arena. Make this upgrade. Now someone can uh, keep leveling up. Yeah, I mean, we need to put these two in. Just to heal Banshee and the zombie and uh, Bride of Iratus can come with me. She... I don't know if she want, should heal there. I don't know. I, yeah, I'll just send her in for more XP. Should the Dark Knight get a brain? I'm thinking yes. The Dark Knight is a very good unit. And, uh... I don't know if I want to use this first ability at all. What I use the most is Dark Tide. And maybe the Slide In. But yeah, the first ability is useful as, as well. Oh, fuck me. Uh, let's just do this. The Tanky Boy, again. Tanky Boy is gonna just learn how to be better. And now we got an extra leech that actually is just completely useless. But I bought it because I don't have a lot of leeches and that's actually for a good reason. I would like more creature parts. 
the formula revealed this. I don't know. Maybe this is an additional 15% instead of like instead of like actually uh, 10%. So now we got a decent team. Wait. Now we gotta check what is this. Yeah. This is a burning zombie. And uh fine. They both like to be on the same spot. That's a little bit of a bummer. But what can you do? Not take them on the same mission? I don't really have anybody to replace them with. Do I? I know I have a, a level 3 somewhere. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. I think... I think I may be wrong. Yeah, that's not super useful. I'm more concerned about just filling uh, all the buildings with units. Choose a battle squad. Oh, actually, that could be a good way to heal up a minion. Do I need that? I don't know. Uh, we can put in the, the mummy, I guess. But do I need mana? I, I'm, I'm fine with mana. So we're gonna have the mummy in the back and we're gonna choose him for heals. And she's gonna be healing there and she's gonna be taking XP and he's just chilling. So let's see if this works. If it doesn't, it's fine, I think. Uh, just go, just go. Oh, Iratus gains. All minions gain 4 XP, or Iratus gains 200 XP. Let's make Iratus gain 200 XP. I, I was totally wrong about this shrine. Uh, we gotta change the lineup. The zombie needs to heal. I don't like that. <clears throat> so Iratus has even more XP now. Scalpel Artist. Should I go for that? Also, it seems like going for the... We get 20% more artifacts is a pretty good choice. But creature parts, uh, that's pretty good too. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter now. We need 3 points for both. Let's go! Uh, just kill more dwarves. That's like 25 plus extra if we crit. Uh, we need to take out the trader. Wait. He's blocking damage. Impale this wretch. Okay. This removed their armor. Uh, we can remove, we can reduce their damage quite a bit. Uh, she can use some accuracy. Uh, just go for an attack. That's a little annoying. So fire explosive is really good. Wait. How they don't have armor anymore? They used to, don't don't No? Removes all armor. Infinite uh Who did that? It was not me. Wish I could do that. On smoke toy. Okay, uh, well, he can slide in. Uh, let's just hit everybody. Yeah, that seems okay. Spine bomb. Have a little tingle up your spine. Yeah. 
Yeah, just reduce their damage. Uh, go for and set them on fire. You can slide down. Does it hit both targets? It seems like it, but it's it's unclear. But it, it does that, but it, it does. Okay, well, we can go for another bomb, maybe. But that could be actually an overkill. He's on fire, and I can kill him. Fate within flames. Let's do that. Yeah, what happened here? This constant reposition is super annoying. Veil is okay. Hal would be decent to use. We can just go back with the Absorb Fear. No, just... Yeah, Crescendo is what I want to do. And I don't really care about stress damage at this point. This is a bad ability. Oh my god. Right to the bomb. Oh no, what? Whoa, 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 what the hell was that? Become part of the breathless tide. Okay, you gotta go for a heal here. Impale this wretch. Mm. You can't even use absorb fear. Ah, <sighs> uh, set the guy in the back on fire. I should take him out. Fine. Not very nice. Oh, uh, we can... I don't know, maybe scream at him. So that you can live. Set him on fire. I think he's dead. I should have been for extra mana. So we got some tokens and found some parts. Which is nice. I, I really like parts. Running out of minions is not fun. Okay, we got the zombie upgrades on the frontline number two zombie. Got two heals, talents. Yeah, I would like that. So, zombie, he just spams this fire explosive, sometimes the whistling buckshot. What helps with this? We can give him. Initiative. This is a bad ability, but we would get initiative. Ignores resistance or ignores ward. It's kind of good because we have a different type of attack. This is uh, physical, that's ignition. I like that. But, and it also ignores resistance. Ignoring ward is not as good. But we would get resistance for that. I don't know. I, I value initiative more than one resistance. But this is just so much better than just uh, popping a ward. We can also... We already pop a ward with uh, igniting mixture. But if it... If the... And it deals... Partly magic damage, but uh, fire is not magic damage, it's pure damage. And uh, at least we know that the, the golem is immune to pure damage, or at least uh, burn. Yeah, we can get 50% damage. It, it is just not good. This is not great. Like, I would only choose this if I want, like, 2 attack or 10 health. 
but at that point maybe 6 accuracy is more important. Uh, I don't know, this is gonna make him more of a tank. This is a better uh, secondary skill if we actually ever need magic attacks. Uh, this is gonna be a lot more useful. But of course, if we are using magic tech attacks, we are using it because the target is has like crazy amount of... Uh, I don't know, we gotta go for Grand Volley. In, this is gonna make uh, him better at uh, just applying uh, fire. Uh, let's go back to the graveyard and get out the zombie. Sure. Wait, does he keep leveling at le uh, level 5? Is he like, done? <laughs> no, he's not done, but he's so fucking good. Everyone else just takes damage, but he's like, nah, I'm good. How? How are you so good? Okay, well, we can put in one extra guy here. No, 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 no. She needs heals. The Banshee. What are we doing with this Banshee? So, I like Crescendo. I don't like No at all. I guess this can be used uh, as a desperate maneuver. I do like the uh, remove all ra buffs from the target. Upgrade path. And also it gives us more stress damage, most likely. And Deafening Veil seems like a good choice too. Uh, sanity. I mean, this is just a, s a slight upgrade to absorb fear. That's, I would pick this a little bit, but it's not super important. I think removing buffs might be the most important part here. Deafening Veil, just so you can do something. But you can already do a Desolate Scream, so... I think we're gonna go with Desolate Scream here. I expect results. Ah, <sighs> so she's gonna be over there, and the mummy's gonna be in the back, just spamming... <laughs> clinging wraps. Not great, but it's not terrible, so that makes it really good. So... Can I make more creatures? I can. I can make more creatures. But where the fuck would they be? Not here. That's for damn sure. So we can put a Banshee in here. And we get more building resources. Also, we can put a mummy in here. But that doesn't seem to be the most limiting part. A mummy and a banshee. I can't make any of them, so... And I guess we shouldn't make just... Whatever random crap I can find. I don't have any items, so that's it. I don't have the ability to... Well, actually, that would be pretty good. Giving him one uh, extra attack. Free luck. Two dread. Should I make that? Uh... Upgrade instead. We get transplantation. The same type. And then we go into artifacts instead of uh, parts. No, no, no. I think parts is what we fucking need. <laughs> Most of all. Parts, then transplantation. And yeah, that's, that's the plan. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.